Hello guys, welcome once again to another interesting math video. Let's quickly provide a lasting solution to the problem on the board. I have this quartic polynomial from Harvard University entrance exam math problem. A very interesting problem and very straightforward. So parentheses open 7 plus 1 upon x, parentheses close up to the fourth, minus parentheses open 5 plus 1 upon x, parentheses close up to the fourth equal to 240. For a beginner, you may just want to use the brute force by expanding and doing some cleanup. That's going to take longer time and waste energy. So the best approach, especially for this kind of problem, being an entrance exam, time is of the essence. So optimizing time is of utmost priority. So we shall make a vital algebraic substitution. I will say let y equal to 5 plus 1 upon s. So if y is 5 plus 1 upon x, 7 plus 1 upon s will be 2 plus 5 plus 1 upon s. And 5 plus 1 upon s is y. We can say this is y plus 2, obeying the rule of algebra. So this humongous equation, I can then rewrite it in a condensed manner to be y plus 2 to the fourth minus y to the fourth equal to 240. So you can see what we are doing here, simplifying this problem in its best possible form. Then we shall take care of this expansion. So y plus 2 to the fourth. I shall use Pascal expansion. First and foremost, I need to get the Pascal coefficients. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1. 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So this is a Pascal coefficient for the power of 4. Then here, I have to do the rule of thumb first by expanding this. So as the powers of y are decreasing, the powers of 2 would increase. So what to the power of 4 to the power of 0, that's our first term. 1 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 1 as our second term. Then 1 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 2, that will be our third term. 1 to the power of 1 multiply 2 to the power of 3, that is our fourth term. And our last term will be 1 to the power of 0 multiply 2 to the power of 4. So anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. So here we'll be having 1 to the fourth plus here, 2 to the power of 1 is 2. Multiply y cubed, that will be 2y cubed. Here, 2 squared is 4. 4 multiply y squared, that will be 4y squared. Here, 2 cubed is 8. Multiply y, that will be 8y. Then, y to the power of 0 is 1. Multiply 2 to the power of 4, which is 16. Then I shall multiply by 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So that's going to give us y to the power of 4 plus 4 multiply 2y cubed, that will be 8y cubed. 6 multiply 4y squared, that will be 24y squared. 4 multiply 8y, that will be 32y. 1 multiply 16, that will be 16. So this is the expansion of y plus 2 to the fourth. Then I can then write this equation to be y to the power of 4 plus 8y cubed plus 24y squared plus 32y plus 16 minus y to the fourth equal to 240. So y to the fourth we subtract out. We are then going to be having a clean up cubic equation. So we shall collect like terms here. There is any, okay, move 240 to the left. So this becomes a 8y cubed plus 24y squared plus 32y plus 16 minus 240 equal to 0. Now 16 minus 240, okay, that should be 224. 224. So we have 8y cubed plus 24y squared plus 32y minus 224, that will be equal to 0. 
Now, the coefficient here are much, A2432, so, and they are all multiples of 8, so I can divide 2 by 8. 8 y cube divided by 8, so y cube is left. 24 y squared divided by 8, that would be, okay, 3 y squared. 32 y divided by 8, that would be, okay, 4 y. 224 divided by 8, that would be minus 28, everything is equal to 0. So this is our cubic uh, equation. Then, according to the factor theorem or the remainder theorem, if we try f of 1, if we plug y equal to 1 into this expression or this equation, will it give us 0? That's not going to be possible. If we plug y here, 1 cube, no, y equal to 1 here, sorry for the slip. 1 cube will be 1. 3 multiply 1, that will be okay, 4 plus 4, 8, minus 28, that cannot be 0. If we try negative 1, this one will be negative 1, plus 3, minus 4, okay, that one can also give us a 0. So we try f of 2. So f of 2, that's going to give us 2 cubed, plus 3 times 2 squared, plus 4 times 2, minus 28, 2 cubed is 8. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3, that would be 12. 4 times 2 is 8, minus 28. So this would be 20 plus 8, minus 28. Okay, 28 minus 28, which is equal to 0. So indeed, y equal to 2 is a root of this uh, equation. So we can we then say, y equal to 2 is a root of the equation and uh, y minus 2 is a factor. That now depends whether you are using the long division or you are using syntactic division. So we shall use syntactic division, using syntactic division, using syntactic division. which is much simpler. So I will draw the L sign, the long L sign. Then the coefficient of this polynomial are 1, 3, 4, minus 28. I will write that here. 1, 3, 4, minus 28. Then I will stick into here. So 1. So 2 times 1 is 2, 3 plus 2 is 5, 2 times 5 is 10, 4 plus 10 is 14, 2 times 14 is 28, 28 minus 28, that's 0. So because the remainder is 0, indeed, y equal to 2 is a root. So we are then going to solve the quadratics. So we are going to have y squared plus 5y plus 14 equal to 0 to get the other two roots. And we often advise students, before you solve any quadratic equation using the formula, because it cannot be factorized, using formula method rather, you need to test for the discriminant. Discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, and c is equal to 14. So, discriminant will be 5 squared minus 4 multiply 1 multiply 14. That will be 25 minus 4 times 14. That will be 56. And that's going to be negative uh, 31. It means that we are going to reject this quadratics because it does not have real solution. The solution lies in the spiritual or in the complex plane. So our only true solution, so hence I can say, hence, the only true solution, the only true solution is y equal to 2. And at the very beginning, we made a vital algebraic substitution. We said y is equal to 5 plus 1 upon x. So when y is equal to 2, this is going to give us 
5 plus 1 upon s equal to 2. 1 upon s, that would be 2 minus 5. So 1 upon x, that's going to be negative 3. So s will be negative 1 upon 3. So this is the only solution to this problem for the value of x. So guys, please, if you derive value from this video, if you enjoyed it, please ensure that you like it and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification so that you wouldn't miss out in our upcoming videos. See you next time and stay blessed.